And now, let's check in with Kamal, publisher of Oat Living magazine, to tell us about some of their exclusive events this week. Art Basel, to me, as New York Times called it, is like the cultural Davos, most important cultural event in the United States. It's a gathering of great minds from great creativity, from the artists, to great financial wealth from the buyers, the galleries, and it's just an interesting mix of people that you're not going to really find anywhere else on this planet. And I think the value that Art Basel brings to Miami, it really showcases Miami as a sophisticated cosmopolitan city to rank amongst the New York and London's and LA's of the world. During Basel, as I said with our magazine, we typically cater to the top 1%. We've partnered with Rolls-Royce. As I said, they're owned by BMW, which is the title sponsor of um, Art Basel Miami Beach. Uh, we're partnering on executing one event on Tuesday, December 4th, where we've imported about 200 million in Picassos, a few hundred million in Fernando Boteros and Frank Stella. So we're doing one-man shows of, of three respective artists. Wednesday night is the Vernissage, which over 55% of the art is bought before Art Basel is actually open. Of the 600 jets that are projected to fly in, about 400 are in by Vernissage. They come in, they do their major purchases, and then they leave the following day. So we host in the wine cellar of The Forge on Wednesday night, which is the hottest ticket in Miami, our second annual Rolls-Royce post-Vernissage dinners for the collectors of the top 50 collectors that we host a private dinner. It's actually going to be our most special issue to date. It's a collector's issue. Sam Keller, the gentleman that brought Art Basel to Miami, the founder of Art Basel and one of the godfathers of contemporary art, he's on our cover and we did a special 12-page feature with him. Tony Goldman, who was the chairman of the Greater Miami Visitors and Convention Bureau, at the time Art Basel came in, we did a major feature with Tony, who's come and built Wynwood into a great art community and art district now the same way he did with Soho and South Beach. Oat means the highest and living, and basically that's what we focus on, is the highest style of living. It also translates in English as fashionably elegant. We focus on the lifestyle, basically relate to that. I saw an underserved niche for the private jet community, where there was a few publications, but not really explaining the lifestyle and showcasing the lifestyle. So I saw that void, and we start developing also with a regional approach. So we started in Miami, evolved into New York, and now LA but we saw that market was underserved with good regionalized content for the private jet traveler. We feature many self-started um, gentlemen that have grown into a multi-billion dollar empires. We had on our last cover Sheldon Adelson, who's the third richest American, who's in position to almost become the richest person on the planet, son of a cab driver. We're working with Steve Wynn, the son of a bookmaker. So we find a lot of success stories of how guys go from rags to empires. I just, you know, want to keep on contributing to the arts in the community in Miami to set it as the premier uh, city in the world for the art world, especially the contemporary art world. And I think what we've done in the last five years in Basel has given Miami a great head start on anyone else in the U.S. And I think that it's just with all of us putting our focus and energy towards it and enjoying this great event, I think that it's a no-brainer that Miami is going to become the art capital of the world. I'm Marcos Girusta, I'm from Patagonia, Argentina. My art, I'm making an um, after guard that represents our universe in the world. I work in latex and acrylic and fire. I burn the canvas and at the same time I use my, my hands, I don't use brush. This is this. In the same time it's only very impressionist. I don't think nothing, only in feel. That painting, I'm working with the fire. I try to represent everything what happened with our life for everybody. This is happening, it's no gallery. I show in the street for everybody, this is what we are. This is the X, the X is a transformation, the human transformation. It's happened inside sometimes when you have 30, between 40 years, something's happened in your life, it's changed, something's coming. You feel like you have four ways, it's different, it's coming outside. You start to understand everything in your life. The name is Cocoon. You can see it, the woman right here, the woman is the mother of us, the men. And now, here's Telsius again, with an exclusive look at some more events happening this week.
Hi, I'm Chelsea's, and here's some of the highlights of the last day of Art Basel, Sunday, December 9th. From 9.30 to midday, there's a brunch at the Low Art Museum to see their permanent collection. The event is hosted by Brian Dursum, director of the stunning museum at the University of Miami in Coral Gables. There's a breakfast in the park featuring an informal talk by sculptor Tom Otterness, taking place from 9.30 till noon on Sunday. Hosted by the Patricia and Philip Frost Art Museum at Florida National University. For more information, go to fiu.edu. Design Miami is taking place at the Moore Building in the Design District. It's a global forum for collecting, exhibiting, and discussing limited edition designs. With historical and contemporary exhibitions, it's curated by the world's leading design galleries. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget you can get more information at artbasel.com.